was at Walmart a few weeks ago and saw this thin and crispy pizza crust mix. It's a in a sort of powder format in this envelope. So I thought Eddie and I would uh, make some homemade pizzas with it. All right, I emptied the envelope of uh, mix into the bowl and I'm gonna pour half a cup of hot water in there as per the directions. And then they said mix it up with the fork, about 30 strokes. Let's do that. And then you form it into a ball and let it sit for a few minutes. Since Eddie and I are going to have different pizzas with different toppings, I'm going to form it into two balls. I'm kind of curious to see how much how much this makes. All right, that looks ready. Okay, I'm going to take the dough and separate it into two two sections here. It says to make a ball a ball. Excuse me and um, piece out of the way. Make a ball and let it sit for five minutes. Brush it with oil. So there's one ball. Here's another. I've put some uh, this handy dandy uh, Dollar Tree parchment paper. It calls for a grease pan, but I prefer to use parchment paper. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and brush this with oil. All right, it's been about five minutes. I have preheated the oven to 475, and what you do is you bake these First for about five minutes, and then you put your toppings on, then you put them back in the um, oven. So anyway, I had my towel. I had uh, this wrap. They did kind of rise a little bit, so that's good. And I'm gonna spread them out and make them look pizza-like. All right, I have a little flour here I'm gonna just put on my hands. It's like a little sticky. Let's see what we can do. Flatten it out. I think we can fit two on this Dollar Tree cookie sheet. Looks good enough. Good sized. Enough for two people. And I'm going to put that in the oven, as I said, at 475 for five minutes until it's slightly browned. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make my pizza first. I have Dollar Tree pizza sauce here. I'm going to grab my handy brush and just brush the top of it. I, uh, neither Eddie and I, neither Eddie or I like uh, a ton of sauce, but some sauce is good. There we go. Covered. Great. Sometimes I put pesto on these too. It's really good, like underneath or by itself. All right, I'll leave that for Eddie. I have some cheese I'm going to put on next. A couple of, uh, probably one slice, I'll sort of place it all over the place so it can um, melt. I'm not a huge cheese eater, so a little bit. Just to kind of give it that creaminess. Here we go. I think this one slice is going to cover my pizza pretty well. Just like that. Great. I'm a big mushroom eater, so I made this concoction last night. I, I chopped up some mushrooms and uh, added garlic, and I also added, I drained and added some of these sweet and spicy, spicy pepper slices from Dollar Tree. Actually, it's really, really good. I'm going to probably put this on pasta tomorrow, whatever's left over, whatever I don't use for pizza. I'm going to put that on top, just like that. And that's good. Oh, we some artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts. I have some right here. I cut them up so that they um, kind of be spread a little better. I was going to put some olives on these too, but I forgot to buy olives. But I think we have enough stuff that's savory. Olives are no big deal. All right, so my size are ready, and I'm going to have Eddie coming into his side. He's ready to start. So what are you putting on your pizza? Okay, here? well, the first thing you gotta do, you gotta get your sauce on there. I don't put a lot of sauce on because it takes over the pizza. You can't taste nothing else. So, that's just me. You do what you do. <laughs> I don't put that much sauce on either. She thought it was her idea. No, actually, it was your idea. <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. Okay, there we go. See right there? Light sauce. I try to make it as even as I can so I can taste it in every, you know, in every bite. Okay, now, 
Next, you got to put on your sausage. And you have to do that next because you want your cheese to melt on top of the sausage. This is a uh, Jimmy Dean heat serve sausage. So I imagine it's going to be pretty good. I didn't have to fry it or that. Just put it in the microwave. And this is a man's pizza, so we don't care about putting a bunch of meat on there. Got to die something. <laughs> you know where I did that? You got to take your time so you get... A little sausage in every bite. You understand? So you take that, you place it around, and let it stack on top of each other. Take a little bit of pride. There we go. Bam! Okay, now, first of all, with the white cheese, which is mozzarella. Or what, yeah, I think yeah it's mozzarella. mozzarella. So we put a generous amount on there. Okay, now we put on the cheddar. This is sharp cheddar, and the reason why it's not like this is because. I believe with sharp cheddar cheese, the packaged, shredded up cheese just loses something, so. Might as well just have the Cadillac cheese. <laughs> ah, diggity. All right, there we go. That's it. Now you put it in the oven. Onions, onions. Long. Are you going to put onions on? Oh, yes. almost forgot. I did get onions. As for me, that's about all I'm going to have on my entire pizza. But uh, Daphne here is a little more oven, uh, onion friendly than I am. Okay, wait a minute, wait, 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 a little bit more here. We got them do out. Okay. But to be honest with you, this is a screw up. The onion should have been on right after the, the uh, meat was on there. So don't do it like this. Put the onions on after you put the meat down. There you go. All right, looks good. I'm going to put it back in the 475 onion. Um, onion. I'm going to put it back in the 475 oven until they're done. It says uh, 10 to 12 minutes, something like right. that. We just took these out of the oven. What do you think, Eddie? Oh, they look good. I know. We're going to let them cool for a second. We'll give it a taste try. Well, we ended up not having a filmed taste test. Eddie's uh, mom called, and there was some issue there, and he had to deal with it. And by the time... Uh, that got resolved. We just sat down and ate dinner. However, they were really good. Eddie loved his. I loved mine. The crust was delicious. It was, you know, that thin, crispy crust. It came out fine. As you can see by the pictures, they sure looked good and they sure tasted good. So this is definitely something we'll be eating again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.